Hello everyone and welcome back to my European Space Agency RP-1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have our rocket ready for the crewed orbit of the moon, but we do not have our Kerbals ready for the crewed orbit of the moon. They are still training. I forgot to start the training early before finishing the rocket. In any case, we don't have enough money to build another rocket yet, but we'll get that soon because we're not building anything right now. So yes, we have some time warping to do. And then we can, uh, I think we need about 100,000 just uh, to get the next rocket ready. And it'll be another one of these. So there'll be a crude orbit one, and then there's going to be the one that we send for the landing. And then it's the, there's the actual lander rocket. But, but, we need the one million dollar upgrade here too. <laughs> or one million fund upgrade. So... I didn't know flags cost so much, but that's a huge development cost for flags. I assume that's their EVA on the moon suit, but jeez. Anyway, okay, let me get another one of these ready. We haven't actually tested the landing though, so that's a complicated factor. So I think we're going to actually make the core different from the other cores. Um, we'll make this larger so that we can have more hypergolic fuel here. Well, uh, it has to be high pressure, so yeah, we're gonna have to have bigger spheres. Well, we're underutilizing this a bit. I'm gonna justify that. Uh, I'm gonna tuck those in. Okay, but that would be enough for the return. Just gonna move the thrusters a little bit. Seems a little bit close. Oh, they might have more than I need, really. Oh, that's sort of fine. That's still capturing us. Don't know if I should make this change when we're testing a different version for the orbit, but... Okay, well, this will be a block A, I guess. Okay, well, I'm gonna start the flag upgrade. There's no point sending the mission without that first. Or losing a bit. Um, let's make sure. Uh, so it'll take until 2008 to get the flags. And we're still losing money like that. We make no progress at all. <laughs> we're still losing money. Okay, what? Um, we need fewer staff at this one. Eventually, we're going to get the bump up, right? But it's still a ways away, a few years. So, maybe we should just do more testing in the meantime, I don't know. But then our Kerbals will all, you know, retire and everything. Milka is going to hang out till 2013, so we'll assume that that's the deadline. Okay, Nancy is trained. That should give us more engineer efficiency right there. And I want two Kerbals at least, so... And we'll need this money for the rollout. Oh, we'll need more than that money for the rollout. Great. Well, let's start rolling out and make up the funds by reducing that. Otherwise, it'll stop the rollout, so... It's gotta take till December 28th. Mission training expired. Oh, I was afraid of this. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Ah, oh. Just while we're rolling out, the mission training expires. Great. For both of them, too. Uh, no, uh, Sebastian still has mission training. It expires January 4th. I have decided that Sebastian is going alone. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any other Kerbal trained. It doesn't require more than one. Best to just risk one, right? Okay. Oh, we have to pay attention to the Jupiter mission. Okay, all right, well. A little diversion from this business. Signal's pretty weak this time, though. We're uh, not exactly at Jupiter level either. Though Earth is sort of clear across the system. Power's fine. Oh, uh, we're probably not going to do anything with that Jupiter window given our budget, so we'll wait until the next one. Okay, ignition. And touch up. 
that'll be fine for now. Okay, and getting into orbit. We could maybe do something with that if we push one of the sending... Oh, there! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, anyway, there's definitely a gammy flyby there somewhere. We'll figure that out. Okay, there, there. All right. Um, so given this, we just won't do a correction when we enter, but we should pay attention to it though. So we will have the SOI change alarm, even though we're not planning to do anything at that point. Uh, and we're gonna turn right now to face the sun anyway, so it's gonna mess up everything. I'll just get rid of it and hope I remember that we have a potential Ganymede encounter there. Okay, it is spinning, and let me reset the SOI change based on our post-turn situation. And we can proceed. Okay, we've rolled out the mission. Gonna reduce staff at ELA 6 again. That's going at 50% speed. Alright, let us launch. I feel like I'm being funded like the European Space Agency would, so I guess it's alright. Um, uh, we certainly wouldn't be funded fast, so here we are. Let us launch. And we have Sebastian in there. Put all the things. Got plenty of room. Alright. So, yes, going into the sunrise. Here we go. Sebastian on the Arcturus system with the... get what I call it pod. Uh, Dionysus, I think it was. Oh, was that the... that was the Mark 1 pod. What did I call this again? Anyway. SAS on. Thrall is up. Ignition. And launch. Okay, we have sound change in the engines. Now traditional. Acoustic mode 2, if you will. Well past the speed of sound, going through max Q, Sebastian looks happier. Presumably not gonna be too happy in this pod without somebody to talk to, though. That was one of those comfort factors, right? I don't know how that's gonna affect his mental situation. I'm aware of that. I, I deliberately didn't check it. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, G-Force mitigation, forgot about that. Okay, booster set. Launch escape system separation. Okay. Just us and the volcano now. What were the special crew things that we have here? Ion sensing. Unmet requirement. Uh, anyone. Minimum crew two. Well, we'll have that eventually. Are they both minimum crew two? Space broadcast? Come on. Everybody can take a self. Minimum crew three for a space broadcast? Okay, uh, uh, I couldn't shut it down quickly enough. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I I'm sure we've planned where to splash it down safely somehow. Okay, separation. Okay, well that's pretty good. Let's go. Okay, and shut down. All right, the burn with the RZ-20s was very good. And that's basically what we want right there. We'll get it to 60-ish. But really, um, Sebastian can't do any of the science in here. Can do EVA reports, so we'll do one Earth High. Presumably that'll get us something. Hopefully there's no, like, trick where it'll kill him unless we can plant flags or something, you know. I can vaguely imagine such a thing. 
Now we'll have the stage tag along for now. It's not going to cause any power problems. And we will wait. And that's just so it doesn't throw us off or anything. Okay, a radiation belt. That's important. Uh, we don't have any shielding. This is the main science that... Oops. The main science that Sebastian is doing. Seeing how irradiated he gets. 1%. <laughs> 1% so far. Crew report high. Well, we got the crew report high. 1% stress so far. We'll see at one day. That's pretty good. After one day, still 1% stress and 1% radiation. Okay, that seems alright then. Um, we are very much high over the Earth, so let's try that EVA. Um, EVA report. Okay, all done. On to the moon. Okay, crew report. Okay, we've got our EVA report board. Science is being done by our scientist. I don't know if it gets any bonus or anything. Seems like we just get what we're supposed to get. Oh, well, we have this stage. I'm going to use it. Once we sell the fuel down, ignition. Still got three engines. These, uh, what is it, Mark IV? Uh, Mark II. Mark IIs are very good. Okay, staging. Nice and bright. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's see. We flew by the moon, that's true. We need to stay in orbit for 20 hours. How's our Kerbal doing? 4% stress, 1% radiation. Okay, let's do the EVA report down here. I think it's just one for low over the moon, not like separate ones. Okay, board. Alright, so we've got the Deep Space EVA reports. And we just hang out now. Well, uh, there are crew reports based on the surface biome. Okay, so... Our oh, Kerbal has completed his stay around the moon for 20 hours. And 5% stress, 2% radiation. Not too bad, not too shabby. And let's go back home. Alright, it'll take 813. Maybe we should just not have the Hydrolox portion of this, not have the RZ-20 on here at all, and just use the Gryphon 3 stage. Uh, and then have the Hypergolic side of this as a backup. Or just for the return. Since the boil off doesn't seem to be that big a deal with our 25 MLI layers, then again, having the MLI layers on the service module is somewhat more reasonable than having it on the Griffin 3 stage. But uh, basically, the problem is we don't have uh, the spray on foam insulation, right? Which is what is used for the big stages. They don't put MLI layers on. The spray, spray on foam insulation isn't as effective as the MLI layers. But they're good, and uh, certainly in space where it doesn't have uh, the same boil off as it does on the surface. In the atmosphere, the boil off is orders of magnitude faster than in space. But I, I suppose I don't know what the physics of the spray on insulation in space is. Like, I don't think we've left a hydrolock stage in space for super long with that on. Uh, of course, they probably have some data on that, but it's a good question how effective it would be on a space stage at cooling things down. Okay, and ignition. All continues to be well with that engine. We still haven't got max data units, but we might on this burn. Uh, I think I did a little bit too much there. Okay, we will take that basically the same. Now I haven't increased the size of the heat shield, unfortunately. 
Uh, maybe we should do that on the next one, but we'll just try to make sure it doesn't tilt too much. It didn't seem too bad on the G-forces, as long as we do our rolly thing. Lifting re-entry business. Okay, extra radiation time. Just for a little bit. Well, Sebastian looks happy to be getting back home here. 9% stress, 4% radiation. Not bad at all. Considering he was all alone and everything. Okay, service module separation. Descent mode, I'll, I'm gonna say 20%. Just gotta return home safely. We got a crude altitude record and a crude duration record. Well, a whole bunch of records. Not the actual 14 day one though. Just took a normal sort of Apollo 11 ish time. Okay, well, let's see what offset is happening. Let's turn off the actual pitch control. Okay. So that it can be free. And I'll prepare the 180 roll, but not execute. You now there's still a little bit of overheating. Uh, uh, no, why, why, it was actually higher than the previous time by a little bit, but not that much. <laughs> why, we tested it twice, why when there's a Kerbal on board? It was a pr pretty normal return time. It wasn't like we're coming in fast. Well, for the first time, it actually was an astronaut killed during a space mission. Usually those were aircraft missions. And they weren't... I mean, I, I think the deaths were all in non-space plane missions. Hmm. Well... Okay, well, let's edit this one. <laughs> uh, we're not, we're gonna need a bigger heat shield, even. It's gonna stick out ridiculously. I should just bring in my own pod. I've already done that um, for, of course, the Mark 1 space plane parts I made, the Maya spacecraft. I've also, for my Japanese series, made a replacement for the advanced command pod, the two-seater one, and that's called Vegas for reasons that occurred during the live stream where I made it. I could just bring in my Lynx, which would be heat shielded um, and tested. But I'll try this again. I'm gonna poke it out even more. Uh, let's say, uh, no, 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 v skill. Well, maybe v skill adjusted can help too. Shoot. We've got plenty of Delta V. This is ridiculous though. I don't know what kind of drag that gets on the way up, but I suppose, again, we have the Delta V, so we could probably deal with that. It's ridiculous, though. Seriously, are the handlebars, do they have colliders on it? Is that what's going on? No, they don't. They're not poking out. It's not, it's not the handlebars that are causing the problem. It's not supposed to have this problem. Its own heat tolerance is pretty high. 3000, but its internal is 448 for some reason. But we saw, saw that sort of thing working for the Maya spacecraft as well, right? It had 448, but 2273 on the skin. And somehow that worked out, but... Mm, it's not working out. <laughs> not working out here. Right side, we have time. Downside, we lost a Kerbal. I could also use the remaining fuel to slow down once we get back, because we have a little bit. That is an option. 
Well, I think we need another astronaut. Jasmina Pavlovsky is the only pilot here. And I think the pilots train faster, so that's why I'm going for pilots. Low stupidity. Maybe, maybe the training time actually has to do with the stupidity. Hmm. Then uh, Michaela here is probably the best, or Muhammad there. Um, Doran is fairly low stupidity and really great courage, but I don't know if the, what the courage does for us. Low stupidity might actually make the training faster, but I'm not sure. So... We'll try Muhammad. Okay, so if we don't have much money, let's get some training going on. I guess Nancy will go solo on the Lunar Mission VA to try and get the flyby and orbit done first. While these two are working on their proficiency. So... That she retires in April. We need this to go faster. Research teams are costing quite a lot. We don't have any research happening, but we could, I suppose. I rate communications. It doesn't cost that much. Uh, probably for our longer range missions, which we are surely going to do, will be important. Researcher efficiency. Well, they're being very inefficient right now. Early electric propulsion. I don't have the patience. And I guess we'll get space station era solar panels. Well, at least they have something to do, but they're still costing us a lot. That research should be done pretty quickly, and we really don't need it that much. So we're going to fire uh, 200 of these guys. Don't have any choice. We have the we have plenty of science. We just don't have the ability to build rockets right now. June. Do we think she'll last until June with that mission training? We used to be able to put a thousand over here. Our construction is already at 40%. So Sebastian Serrano expired mission training. Well, yes, but Sebastian Serrano expired, so... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to tell me about the mission training expiring. Okay, but then... Oh, but Nancy's mission training expired too. But I thought she was in training. I don't understand. It's like her mission training expired. Well, at least her retirement was extended. But I've, I've got on mission Apollo again. And she still needs the training for some reason. Well, I guess that works with our schedule. Okay, rolling out, but that rollout cost. And rollout time. It, oh, it says expires September 12th. But the no earlier than July 19th is a little bit early for us. She didn't seem to get much benefit from the latest training. Can we get that one second landing training, maybe? I don't know. Efficiency landing will take zero minutes now, it says. Okay. Still didn't boost her... boost her retirement. Yeah, well, okay, landing is immediate. Okay, I don't know what I had before, but... Still free, still July 19th. Oh, Nancy's retired. Just hopeless. Well, we've got that one built. Let's uh, store up some money. It'd be better if we have actual money and finish the construction of the astronaut complex. That's really what's holding us down right now. Okay, we've got one proficient. Let's get the mission training. It's training for the mission. That'll complete in September. I just want to finish the construction of the astronaut complex. So we're just waiting, and that'll get us to the better part of our funding anyway. I swear it was taking money from us when it wasn't supposed to. Like, I don't think we have anybody doing anything at ELA-6, right? 
But then even though we didn't have anybody doing anything at ELA6, when I have people at ELA6, it reduces our funds. But they're not doing anything. Maybe it's because it's ready for launch and it still costs money to have them there, I don't know. But I, a lot of the times I think that it's charging me money when it's not supposed to. Okay, so Milka has the mission training for 14 more days. The rocket is on the pad. Well, I'm gonna try and launch her in it and <laughs> she may perish again like Sebastian did, but what can we do, really? What can we do? Well, anyway, while that mission is on its way, we're going to build another one. We have oodles of unlock crit that I can't use on anything. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sure there'll be some use eventually. But, okay. Okay, SAS on, throttle up. And... Ignition. Launch. Got all of them. We should be through Max Q now, and Milka is happy. Ah, oh, we get some sunlight here. A little bit higher than necessary. Oh, I've got to turn off the engine. Sorry, Milka. Just dazzled by the light. Okay. Booster set. And launch escape system separation. We are nowhere near close to full data on the volcano, but it's doing fairly well. Still 97% uh, ignition chance, so it's not great. Not great yet. Actually, technically not human rated or Kerbal rated, but... Heck, Kerbals demand perfect ignition chance, right? Their engines never fail. Much higher standards than humans. Okay, well, we'll have to finish over with the next stage because we ended up high. Oh, we have an avionics problem. How did that happen? Oh, it's because I added the fuel to the service module up there. Well... We'll just sort of keep pointing in this direction and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, we'll need to get to 42 here. Okay, that was a bit rough, but we should have enough to transfer to the moon and everything. But yeah, making the service module heavier has had other effects. Okay, selling fuel down. And ignition. This stage is definitely not helping us around the moon this time. Okay, let's see how that's going. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. That'll be low. Hey. It seems relatively in line with the tug. I'm not checking too much on that. Okay, on we go. I think we'll just use the RCS on this stage for this. We'll see if that works. Okay, well, let's uh, separate the stage at this point. Oop. That'll give us some impulse. Oh, well, okay, fine. We'll have to work on that. I guess I have to use up... Well, um... Milka will consume some food, water, and oxygen, though. But let's see what we can use up to make sure that we're under the limit. I thought we had been under the limit, but something about the reading was wrong. Well, overall, I'd describe this mission as going worse than Sebastian's, but, you know, it all comes down to the last bit, huh? Okay, on to the moon.
Okay, we of course will use the Hydrolox engine to capture. If it doesn't work, we would abort the capture and just head back out. And then make sure that we have a good return to Earth. Right now we're being flung out, but we can correct that with the hypergolic system. Okay, retro burn. Okay, a little bit lopsided, but we can probably keep it like this. And well, we've already done those. We just have is it is it okay with this one being the one that did those? I'm not sure. Because it's already checked the sp stay in specified order for 20 hours. Is it gonna recheck that? Um how's that supposed to work? Exactly. I don't know. I'll stay in orbit for 20 hours. That'll be four uh, when we hit four days, this will basically be it. So but I don't know if it's checking or what. It doesn't even show us the specifications for the orbit, though I'm very sure that we're under those. Well, that's more than 20 hours. Five day trip back, hardly quick or anything. Well, we'll see how it all works out for us. Oversized heat shield and everything. They're punishing me for using this instead of the shinier and more expensive Apollo spacecraft, I suppose. There's Earth. Got to take a little bit longer than I was planning for, but it's okay. Okay, now just the hypergolics. Okay. Or we coming in there. Not too far. But now I'm gonna have a question. Should I or should I not? Oh, that really changed things. Use the remaining 580 to slow this down before we hit the atmosphere. I would like to get this done. <laughs> I would like to get this done and not kill another Kerbal. So I think I will, but of course that means that it's not a good test of whether our enlarged heat shield actually protects the Kerbals. Then again, the two uncrewed tests I did were sort of indecisive about that, apparently. Oh, no, 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 no off, off. Oh, we have the SOI change with the probe. You know what? Uh, Jupiter SOI is pretty big. But uh, let's jump to it and take a look. Okay, well, during time warp, it's okay on power. It does have comms, 7% um, transmit. We didn't put any new science. I don't think I'm going to change its orbit. And we're trying to hit Ganymede again. So that's 1,100 there. And then at Apoapsis, we could probably do... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, there's Callisto. Can we get Ganymede too? Seems like we should be able to get Ganymede. I'll take Callisto though. Okay, so we, we've got this and we'll give ourselves some buffer and I'll look at it again later. Uh, so Europa has to be especially close, 3,700. The others are 20,000. Well, this one has to be close, 7,800. I guess that's because of the SOI. Oh, we don't have enough um, contract space. So we'll be giving Iowa a pass. We're taking the others. Okay, but back to our lunar mission. Okay, onward Milka. That liquid oxygen's awful tight, though. Uh-oh. Oh, we don't have enough power. I didn't leave enough liquid oxygen in this. Eek. How long till periapsis? Still a day and 14 hours. No! Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Uh, CO2 levels. We have more liquid hydrogen than liquid oxygen somehow. 
but well, we're doomed. Well, I mean, we can't arm the parachutes even, so... But it sort of didn't matter. I... yeah. Okay. It's been a bad day. Uh, well, bad year. Something like that. Yes, many astronauts have been killed. Carbonauts, but well, hmm. I don't know why the liquid oxygen got depleted faster than the liquid hydrogen. But we probably needed more buffer on that, and I shouldn't have used up the hydrolox system like that. I was fooled because we had plenty of extra on the previous attempt. Should just lock the pods this amount. The VA costs a lot more than the V. Oh, did we not tool those? Ah, we forgot to tool those. Well, tool all. We've got plenty of unlock credit. Mistakes were made. First of all, uh, we should probably... I think we have as much of that stuff in here as we can fit, so... We should just lock this just in case. This does have MLI layers. I don't know why exactly we were so far off on the on the control. I mean, it seems to be only 15.016 tons, but we seem to have more. And I don't know where that more came from. When we didn't have control. But okay, let's just reduce this a little bit. And this also needs to be underdone because it's over 42 tons. But I still don't know if it's a safe thing. Okay, I've edited the one under construction and it now has the fixes, but will the fixes be good enough? I don't know. We didn't really get to test the enlarged heat shield this time around. And I guess we have to, we, we need another Kerbal. Um, or a few more Kerbals. Uh, I'm still going with the theory that low stupil stupidity is a good thing, but if they let me hire them, how how intelligent can they be, really? I can't pronounce her name, though. But I, I guess I could just call her Sarolta. So, okay. So, we'll have Sarolta training as well. I'll think about hiring more later. January 20th and February 12th. Well, it's a good match. Uh, Muhammad retires pretty quickly, though. Gosh, I mean, really? We just hired them and their retirement is in like six years? Doesn't that seem a little bit quick to you for astronauts and astronaut training? You'd think they'd hang, hang around a little bit. A little bit weird. All right, well, anyway, lots of weird things and lots of unfortunate things have happened. But with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.